everybody, it's Shauna here with Katati, and I hope everybody is doing wonderfully. Uh, today I'm going to be working on a ladybug project, and actually this one's a little bit different for me. Um, to start off, this is not a kit. Um, this is, I had a customer request a specific um, design, so that's what we're working on today. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, and we are going to be using a wood burner today um, and um, a, so for starters, I have this embossed uh, metal ladybug sign and I've attached pipe cleaners to the back. I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm using a Dollar Tree 14 inch uh, wire frame and we're going to be using poly burlap. And I'm using two different ones. I'm using a white, just plain uh, white poly burlap. And then I'm using a red and black poly burlap check on top. So basically what we're going to do is um, fuse these two pieces of mesh together. And then we'll go from there. Um, so to start with, and I believe I'm going to need 12. Um, I may need 18. Uh, I'm going to cut some extras just in case. Um, so to get started and if you guys have ever watched me, a wood burner is not something that I do very often. Um, if you are going to use a wood burner, um, please make sure you're either in a ventilated area, you have a mask on. Um, it does emit fumes. So all I'm doing is lining up my mesh. Um, the best that I can. I want to make sure all my edges are, um, you know, lined up together. This is a wood burner. This is just a, uh, I got this one at Hobby Lobby, I think. Um, and it has a um, straight or angled tip on it. Um, if you are new to wood burning, um, Julie from Julie's Reef Boutique is amazing and what everything that she does and especially with the wood burner and how to use it and all that type of stuff I'm not the pro at this okay so when it comes to the wood burner uh just go with me here okay so first I need a sealed edge because right now I have two different pieces of mesh um, and I want to seal those together so what we're going to do is I'm going to come down with my wood burner and I'm going to go kind of between these lines here And I'm just going to come all the way down. And it's better um, to try and get right between that, especially with the check mesh. So let me, I'm going to throw that away. All right. So I have now a sealed edge. Okay. And I just use that to kind of weigh down for me. Now we're going to do 10 inch pieces. So I'm going to bring out my edge to the 10 inches. And I have it marked kind of on my um, board here so I know where I'm going and I just kind of do that so then roll back on me okay and again now this time I'm going to try and go right to the outside this thing still makes me nervous I'm not gonna lie And any of those pieces I miss, I just kind of go back over and remelt it. Okay, so now we have, let me show you guys. Um, so we have our first piece of mesh. So you can see there, it's got white on one side and it has the red and black check mesh on the other side. Um, so I'm going to do, um, I think I may only need 12. Um, but I'm going to do 18 of these just in case. Worst case scenario, I can reuse some of these pieces in another project. Um, so I'm going to get um, cutting those. Alright, so we have 18, I cut 18 pieces that are 10 inches wide. 
um, and I'm doing 18 pieces because on our frame we have um, six sections and I'm going to do three um, in each section. So that's why I needed 18. Um, so our mesh is, um, it's sealed on two sides, the side that I cut with the wood burner. Um, and then you'll have the factory kind of side is um, open here. Um, so you see the two layers. Uh, and the stuff that I'm going to do right now, I'm not sure if there's a, a proper name for it. Um, but you know, the flower wreaths that they do, they have so many different names for the petals. Um, and if there is a name for this and somebody knows it, if you could please drop it in the comments, that would be wonderful. I mean, I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, okay, so I have my 10 inch piece and I'm actually going to flip this over. Um, and um, I'm going to start kind of in one corner. I want to keep an eye on the middle and I'm going to start right here in the corner and I'm just going to kind of softly roll this up about halfway. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to roll from this side and I try to keep it as uniform as I can until I meet in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to pinch it, take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to kind of pull that tight so you can kind of see what this looks like at this point. Then on my frame, and again, something a little different, um, normally our frame, um, you can see we have the curve, um, would typically be facing upwards, right? So the curve is up, um, and what I'm, and we would generally add to this side of it. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to flip this over and I'm basically going to do my wreath backwards. Um, the reason for that is I want to take this piece and I'm going to fold this and it is, you know, this is poly burlap. Um, it is pretty, um, thick. I mean, it's not like just, you know, a thin, uh, value deco mesh. Um, this is, this is pretty thick. So you're going to have to kind of work this. But my point is that, um, the wreath that I am trying to create I want to be very thin, very low profile. So if I use it on the other side and I attach this, my, um, I'm not even going to call this a pedal. I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, this would be kind of stick up too far. I'm, I'm afraid that with that curve, it's going to make it automatically, um, stick up and I don't want that. So when I flip it over and the little, the base, of my mesh kind of fits right inside that groove. I'm trying to come up here and show you. So you can kind of see, well, you can't really see the curvature, I guess. Um, but the base of my mesh just kind of fits right inside. So it helps me to keep a lower profile. I hope that made sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like you can start anywhere really on a crossbar. I'm going to take my um, pipe cleaner. And I'm going to wrap around um, two rings. Okay. And give your pipe cleaner a good twist. Now at this point, it doesn't look like a whole lot, um, but we are going to fill this in um, all the way around. I'm doing the same thing. So I'll do one more for you. So we're just going to roll from one side to get about halfway, flip it around. Do the same thing on that side. And then grab a pipe cleaner right in the middle. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, this is just a helpful little hint or tip, not hint. Um, in working with poly burlap more than any other um, type of mesh, if for some reason, so one of these rolls, I have the white roll. Um, I had something sitting on top of it and it kind of made a crease in the mesh. 
So when I was rolling it, when I started rolling it out, I could see that line in my mesh. Um, and what I did, I have a heater on below me. Um, so I just kind of put the mesh right in front of the heater to kind of soften it up a little bit. And I rolled it out and kind of uh, ran my hand over it. Um, and the same thing before, like I've, you know, made some of these previously and I had to redo them. So I took out my mesh and, um, so for example, let me show you. And I'm telling you this in case you make a mistake doing this, you can take it out and you'll see what I mean. So when I take that out, a lot of times I'll have the wrinkle, um, from, um, where I had put it together. Um, but if I put it in front of the, and I, um, say I did it on the wrong side, I could put it in front of the heat or even like a blow dryer, um, heat it up a little bit and kind of smooth it out. Um, and it'll take that right out. So just a little hint, uh, or tip. And let me roll that back up. Do you, don't use, um, uh, I might use a Dollar Tree frame, but please don't use a, uh, Dollar Tree pipe cleaners for this. They will break on you and you don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to get this, fold it in half and I'm just kind of pinching down here at the bottom. So I'm going to, now I'm going to go in next to this one. I'm going to add this again, bottom two rings, and I'm going to twist it off below. Okay. So when this starts to fill in, just like we would in a ruffle or anything else, when this starts to fill in and we're going to do, um, three of these per section, when this starts to fill in, you'll see how it looks. Um, but we're just going to keep doing that all the way around. I finished adding all of my mesh all the way around. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to um, flip this over and deal with these pipe cleaners. Um, so uh, the back will be covered. However, um, I want to make sure that I get these good and twisted. I'm going to cut off um, pretty much everything except for, I'm going to leave um, probably about a half inch or so. And I'm just going to wrap that down um, around the wire frame. And I'm going to do that for all of these. Um, I finished um, cleaning up all the pipe cleaners in the back. Um, so it's nice and clean at this point. Um, and then we'll add it back later, but, um, for right now, the next thing I'm going to do is add, uh, my ladybug. So I had just attached pipe cleaners or, uh, cable mounts to two sides. There's already one, uh, sawtooth hanger there. Um, so I'm going to take my ladybug and just attach it with pipe cleaners. All right. Ladybug is on. And I've gathered a couple of other things. Um, so ribbon, we're going to do a bow right now. Um, I also have these, um, cute little daisies, um, that, where's my ribbon? Um, so in this, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's little tiny daisies in this ladybug ribbon. Um, so I thought maybe I'd add a couple, I don't know yet. I may or may not add some daisies. We'll see. Um, what I'm concerned with is making sure that I cover, um, the areas like on this side, you don't see with the ladybug, but any of the gaps that you could see through the frame, which I make pretty big bows. So I'm not worried about that. Um, but there may be a couple of areas and we can add some, um, daisies just to, uh, bring it together and, and cover some gaps. So, um, I'm going to do, I have, three or four ribbon here. Um, so I have some one and a half inch ribbon and four inch ribbon. Um, and I really like putting the contrasting, um, Swiss dots together. I, I really like it. I don't know why I have a problem. 
Um, so anyway, I'm going to do a bow. What? This side. Okay, so when I do um, this type of bow, um, first I'm going to get a um, pretty good tail. I mean, I don't want it too long on here, but um, I would say this is probably. Uh, 10, 10 or 11 inches. I'm going to gather it, give it a twist, make a loop. Now I am going for a pretty big one here. I want to fill this space. I give it another twist, get another loop. And I always kind of bring them together, make sure my, um, sizes or that they're both loops are the same and cut this off I will cut it to size here in a little bit all right so we have our four inch Just want to make sure it's nice and pliable. Okay, I'm going to go in. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, I'm going to take this ladybug and I just kind of bring it over the top and bring down a tail. Gather it. Now I don't want quite as big of a loop as I did on that one. I leave that one to the four inch. twist in the middle bring it back and check my size cut it off right over the top gather And I do it just a tad bit smaller than the um, ribbon right before it. And then on top, I will put um, that. I'm just going to do one loop of the white Swiss. Just kind of use my little center there. Cut it off. Uh, where are you? I can't use it as a tie. So just taking a clear um, zip tie and putting it around the center. So before I cinch that too tight, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and just fish through the back so I can attach it. And now I can tighten my zip tie. So I always dovetail mine before it goes on. Um, so to dovetail, you just kind of fold your end and cut from the folded side to the wire edge at an angle. Really big? No, there we go. More. All right.
What I'm doing is running my hands um, through the loops and the tails and trying to get that to soften up. You want a nice curl to it. So I'm going to take this guy right in here. Now, um, I am attaching this to the wire frame underneath, um, but because my center um, is somewhat, um, I don't have any mesh or anything there, um, in order to um, kind of stabilize my um, bow and make sure it doesn't go in there, I may go back with some hot glue and just make sure that my um, bottom ribbon here, the four inch, and maybe put some glue to it, uh, keep it on the mesh, and that way it won't slide into the um, into the center. I hope that made sense. All right, so let me get some fluff in. Then let's see what I can. I don't have my glue gun on, so it's good. It's a little long. Let me cut this a little bit. I really am not going to add, um, uh, I'm not going to add ribbon anywhere else. Um, so that's it for my ribbon. The only thing I'm going to see if I can take some of these little daisies here. Clippers. And I just want to strategically put it in a couple of places to help um, the little wig. more up here. It is not cooperating. Okay, I'm going to do another one over here somewhere, not because I need it, but um, just to kind of balance it a little bit.
just kind of cute. It's kind of popping out of my bow. Except for that leaf. These leaves don't want to cooperate. Kind of looks like my plants uh, got holes in them, bugs all eating them. I'm a horrible gardener too. Um, that's what it kind of looks like my plants. No green thumb here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to glue those in. And we're going to be all set um, for this ladybug. Um, and let's see overall depth. Oh, where did I put my ruler? So once I'm done, and that bow can be um, flattened a little bit. Um, we're at about five and a half inches um, and that's to the top of my bow so I could kind of flatten this down if I needed to um, but I like my bows big and fluffy uh, kind of like me um, anyway that's it for this one and um, I'll see you guys next time and again if anybody knows what this thing was called um, please drop that in the comments I would really appreciate that all right bye bye <music>